Hi everyone, in this video we'll be discussing and sharing with you a simple manifesting technique as taught by one of my favorite authors, Neville. We will be sharing with you a short extract from one of Neville's old lectures where he goes into detail about a manifesting technique that he used. I have personally used this technique to manifest my dream car buying a new home and getting many high paying jobs in the past which I will share in detail with you very soon in my new videos so in this clip Neville talks about expressing a sense of gratitude and thankfulness when you imagine this is very similar to Abraham Hicks teaching about expressing a sense of appreciation so I've been practicing mental work to manifest since around 1997 and in my experience expressing appreciation and gratitude lays the most important groundwork because it quickly puts you in a state of appreciation and gratitude which are states of allowing and having abundance when you're in a state of allowing abundance that's the ideal time for you to tell the universe what you want and by gratitude and appreciation, the easiest way to do it I have found is to appreciate and be thankful for what you already have and what's around you. If you're out of the state, you can easily start with the smallest thing in your world such as, I appreciate the fresh air that I can breathe and I appreciate that my lungs are healthy to breathe the air or I appreciate this chair that I'm sitting on. It's really comfortable. And I appreciate that my mom cooked dinner tonight with love. So the trick is to use that little appreciation which opens you up as a launching pad to build on to appreciate more and more things. And then when you're fully in the state of appreciation and gratitude, you tell the universe what you want which leads us to the imagination technique which Neville taught that we should think from instead of what we want. Let's listen to Neville. He felt did so much for her that she wants to show her appreciation. She did it then. She is playing the part of Thaddeus. That is Thaddeus. One of the most neglected characters in scripture for it means praise. It means thanksgiving. And so few people will stop to say thanks. Were there not ten of you? And only one returned to say thank you? There were ten who were instantly cured and only one came back to say thank you. That's Thaddeus. And so if you actually express joy, express thanksgiving for the slightest little thing done you, you are actually exercising that talent that is known in scripture as Thaddeus. It's personified as a disciple. He's the tenth one. And so neglected because so few people are grateful. First of all, they reflect upon what happened. And then they give all praise to the means employed rather than the actual cause of the phenomenon. But here tonight, we are simply presenting Andrew. So I brought you tonight to meet Jesus. I do not point to any being outside of you. Do not look for him in any place. Do not look for him in any place in the world. I point within you to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he is your own wonderful human imagination. Man is God. And exists in us and we in him. The eternal body of man is the imagination. And that is is God himself. Now before we go into the silence, let me once more try to explain this simple, simple technique. You will have to practice it and use your own rhythm. You don't have to be in church to do it. You can be sitting here tonight. You can be at home listening to nice music. You can be simply relaxing with a drink. It doesn't matter what you're doing and where you are, but we want to do it. Get into a lovely,
quiet, relaxed frame. No so-called holy attitude. Forget that. You're holy when you're in love. God is love. So you would love it for someone else. That is all that you need. That mood. Wouldn't it be wonderful if she actually had it? If he had it? If they had it? Also, you know exactly what you want now. And then you imagine you are seeing them. You can see them in your mind's eye and see them vividly. And then breathe yourself into a rhythm. They're telling you that they have it. And you're getting yourself worked up emotionally because they're telling you that they have exactly what you know they would want in this world. And then you reach a certain point and you explode. Something actually goes out of you. It's power. And you'll read the words, who touched me? For I perceive virtue has gone out of me. At that moment, she was healed. Who touched me? And they say, what, with the crowd? How could you tell who touched you with this enormous crowd? You know, you did it yourself. You work yourself up into a certain emotional state and then suddenly you explode and you feel everything go out and you cannot repeat it. There's no desire to repeat it. It was an actual psychic, sexual act, but there's no physical act. There is no evidence of any physical act, but it's the same thrill that you would were it a physical act. Work yourself right up into that state and then let it go. And do not raise one finger to make it so, any more than you would after impregnation. What could you do after pregnancy has taken place? Nothing. Leave it alone and let it take place in its own good time. Now let us go into the silence.